What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Hill YouTube channel and it's time for my weekly purchases and I'm going to give you a quick sneak peek. So I'll be honest, I had a very productive week. A lot of stuff came in, a lot of money was spent, but it was all worth it. Um, so let's see what exactly we picked up. First up is a pre-order that we've had for a long time and we've been waiting for. It is the WWE Funko Pop Stone Cold Steve Austin in the Rock Pop Wrestling Ring. Don't know what I'm gonna do with the ring, but these pops are definitely going in my display. Um, Maybe I'll show you that at the end of this video if I remember to film it. Um, sometimes I forget. I say I'm going to do things and I forget. But um, the ring is cool. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, you know, it's just Austin and Rock. Not exactly my favorite um, versions of Austin and Rock, but I'm not going to let them uh, not be in my collection. Uh, I'm going to move this down here because it's taken up a lot of space. Next up, from my friends over at The Wrestling Place... We got this collector's edition, Zelina Vega. Um, I'm very happy about this. A lot of people weren't sure this was ever going to come out because of her release. And now we don't know what's going on with her, whether or not she's going to be back in the company based on what rumors are saying. But this is an absolutely awesome and beautiful figure. Great likeness, um, as, as we already know. It's got her Vega um, entrance coat, her crown very very cool look at that i mean i gotta say mattel knocked it out of the park with this selena vega very very cool much deserved in my opinion and uh yeah i'm glad that she was able to get her second figure and her first elite you know maybe we'll get more seeing as to what happens with her in the company next up we have a personal favorite of mine from Amazon, $19.99, if you follow Heels Deals of the Week, you saw this on there. It is Elite 85, Liv Morgan. It was $19.99, and it, like, oh my God. This girl's absolutely gorgeous. Love her. She's a Jersey girl, so I had to get her figure. Um, Got to support the Jersey folk. I loved when she wore this on Raw, by the way, and it comes with the, uh, the robe. So it says, from Elmwood, New Jersey... Her finisher is the Oblivion, five feet, three inches. It says, Liv Morgan is anything but typical. She had no choice but to destroy herself so the real Liv could merge. Great, great elite. I have her other elite somewhere around here, but um, I really do like this one. I'm not sure if I like it more than the collector's edition, but this is a, a great figure. We'll take a look at the back of Zelina, as it says, from Queens, New York. Whether business manager for superstars like Andrade and Angel Garza or in-ring competitor Zelina Vega is as ruthless and cunning as they come. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We also picked up, as far as elites are concerned, the Elite Triple H and Jeff Hardy 2-pack. Now, this was also from Amazon. $39.99. If you follow Heels Deals, um, you would have gotten it. And I think the Jeff, I was going to pass on this, but then I saw it on Amazon. I said, ah, well, you know, I passed on the other two packs. I don't want to fear missing out. Don't want to miss out. I'm glad I got it. The Triple H is excellent, but this Jeff is probably my favorite Jeff that Mattel has done. He comes with the jersey. He comes with the mesh shirt, and it just looks incredible. It's got the red tape on it, his Hardy Boys necklace. Look at the detail on his face as far as his um, facial hair is concerned. Looks great. Looks just like Jeff, as it should comes the intercontinental title great set great pack very happy with um this purchase if i'm being honest so it says it's a long one it says jeff hardy from cameron north carolina 225 pounds six foot one swanton bomb it says triple h Grinch, connecticut 255 six foot four pedigree by 2001, Jeff Hardy established himself as a reckless, innovative tag team specialist with multiple tag team titles already on his resume for the April, oh, I'm sorry, on the April 12th episode of SmackDown. It's my birthday. However, 
He challenged the best in the business, Triple H, in a one-on-one match for the Intercontinental Championship. The unorthodox underdog seemed outmatched and overpowered by the game. That's a lot of O words. Um, just when it seemed like the Cerebral Assassin was successfully would successfully defend his title, Jeff Hardy pulled off the upset for his first Intercontinental Championship. And there's Jeff on the side, Trips on the side. Very cool set. I love the packaging, the blue, the SmackDown stage in the background. Really cool. Glad I picked this one up. And I also got... Sorry, doing this with one hand. From my friends over at the wrestling place. This Tegan Knox. Now, yes, I already have Tegan Knox, But they hooked me up with this one that has Tegan's autograph. I guess she did an autograph signing at the wrestling place. Which, by the way, if you don't know the wrestling place, I definitely suggest you get over there. Um, they have everything that you could possibly want. They are affordable. They're in the UK, but trust me, they work with you. And I love the wrestling place. So go to thewrestlingplace.com or go to at the underscore wrestling underscore place. And uh, yeah, see what they got. Um, next up, another basic that came in from Amazon, a big Amazon week. We got Dominic Dijakovic. First time in a line figure. I'm not crazy about the skin. I think his beard's way too dark. I think he looks way too tall. I know he's a tall dude, but he just looks like big show tall to me. I could be wrong because it's in package and I just got it. But, you know, in, I also have a lot of female figures here. So he just looks massive. He just looks massive. I know he's a tall guy, but I just think he's a little bit bigger than he should be. Um, but yeah, so so I'm glad to have T-Bar as he's now called. Um, Dominic Dijakovic, such a, such a hard name. I think T-Bar is a little bit easier than his real last name, but yeah, so far we got a pretty good Mattel haul. We got Liv Morgan, Dijakovic, Triple H, Hardy, Knox, Vega, and I have some, um, Lucy's here that I want to show you that I picked up, um, a couple to, uh, help out my collection. We have the applause Hulk Hogan number two. This is something I've been on the hunt for for a while and uh, Toyetic Toys had it and gave it to me for a great price. So I'm happy to add this. I'm gonna add this to the uh, applause shelf. I also picked up Stone Cold Steve Austin Bendem with the skull on the shirt. I have the Austin 316. I have the regular black trunks, but I needed this one. Also picked up Winston Toys Eraser Jimmy Snuka. Now, yes, this um, figure's a little beat up. It's an eraser action figure, but um, it was $8, and you can't find this for $8 anywhere. So I wasn't going to let the uh, condition get in the way of a great deal. Next up, I have three live crew, TNA Marvel. You may know him as Road Dog, but at this point... He was Brian James. Pretty cool head scan. And another TNA Marvel that I picked up. Guys, these are so hard to stand with, with my left hand. It's not even my dominant hand. But is the variant version of Samoa Joe. And he has the towel. Another one I got for a really good deal. I couldn't pass up. I would prefer to get these mint on car. But sometimes they're very, very hard to come by. That you have to just, you know, take the deal that, that you're getting. And, um... I did that. Love that he comes with the towel. Very hard to find even on the standard version, but this is the variant, so I'm happy to add this to my collection. Um, but yeah, so this is like some of it of what we got. Now is time for the main course. We got AEW Unrivaled Series 5. Here we have John Moxley. He comes with the AEW world title. And as you can tell, the triangles on the title, they're not silver on this one. They're gold. So they didn't finish coloring in the belt unless I'm wrong. And they changed the belt over. We got Scorpio Sky. And I did a whole unboxing video for these if you're interested in a detail. Check out. We got Frankie Kazarian.
great, great head sculpt. Absolutely love it. These tag team titles are incredible. I love them so much better than the women's title. We've got Hangman Adam Page. I didn't get any chases, but that's okay. Got the pitcher. He's got the bandana on his face. One of my favorite things about this is that the belt is removable. As you can see, there's plastic underneath it, which is pretty cool that you can remove it. He's got the whiskey glass, the gun hand, improved boots, improved height. Here we have the star of the set and possibly, um, I, I'm going to say right now, this is figure of the year. Absolutely incredible. Luchasaurus, get the tongue out, all the detail on his tattoos, all the detail on his tights. He's got the toe shoes, the fingertips are, are painted. It's, it's absolutely incredible. I love this figure, the hand tats, everything about it. This is an excellent figure. He's toyetic as it is. And Jazzwares knocked it out of the park. Um, and of course, you can't have Luchasaurus without Jungle Boy. Hopefully, we get a Marco stunt at some point. But here's Jungle Boy in his gear. And surprisingly enough, literally three days after I got these, I got this. What I teased you in the beginning of the video. We got the Jurassic Express Ringside Collectibles exclusive... Sorry, almost dropped it. Jurassic Express 2-pack. Um, I got the standard edition. They do make the quote-unquote variant where Luchasaurus is on um, Jungle Boy's shoulders, but I didn't really think it was necessary. I don't consider that a true variant. Um, honestly, I really don't. But uh, yeah, happy to have it. We have um, John Moxley, Scorpio Sky, Frankie Kazarian, Adam Page, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy. So I would say that we had a pretty good week of gets. A lot of stuff. I'm, I'm assuming that next week's going to be pretty, pretty light. But, yeah. All right. So I unboxed the Funko Pop wrestling ring with Stone Cold and The Rock. Um... I don't know. Something about the stances I don't like. The bodies, I, I understand the whole style of pops, but the bodies look very small. Um, for comparison, look at the, the the body size on this Austin. To He's got like scrawny little kid arms. It's a little strange to me. Um, it's different, definitely different than the other pops. I haven't seen anybody say this, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm, not shy to say it. Uh, these are a little bit different. I, th I guess I think they went a little bit, dare I say, cheaper because it's a two pack with a ring. They're lighter in weight than a normal pop. And oddly enough, like the heads are a little bit smaller. Like he's taller than the other Austin, but not as wide. And the width of the head's a little bit different. Over here, this rock, I had to like bend his head back to get him to stand. I'm afraid to touch it because he kept falling over. He was top heavy. Um, I mean, it, like I said, like I wasn't crazy about them to begin with, but I'm not going to not get Rock and Austin, right? So here's the pop wall. So hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed what we picked up. Comment below. Let me know what your favorite thing that I picked up this week was. Let me know what you picked up. I love hearing what you guys get. Um, it's it's part of my, my my favorite thing about this whole thing. So, yeah. So, let me know. I like hearing what you guys are picking up. It's one of my favorite parts. But, uh, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Head over to TikTok. Follow me at FigHeel. We're putting out a lot of exclusive content, and I really think you're going to like it. And, uh, yeah. Check out the unreleased wrestling figure coloring books, volumes one, two, three, and four, as well as Color Mania, which features the first three volumes for a discounted price. And go to prowrestlingtees.com slash figheel for all your merchandise needs. Have a good one, guys. Take it easy. Get some good fig hunting in. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And you can visit the merch store at Pro Wrestling Tees and check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.